Hi there, I'm Carmen and welcome back to our channel. We're here at Align Pilates Studio. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at rowings three, four, five, and six, or you might know them as rowing from the chest, the hips, the shave, and the hug. Now, before we get to the rowing on the reformer, I've brought um, a few ideas into the scene here that perhaps is the place where you should begin learning your rowing. The first place that is very easy to practice is simply against the wall using some arm weights. So your teacher can have you leaning up against the wall in a tall posture, your legs are slightly forward, and you can begin the idea of how the arms are to work through that motion of rowing. There's also the idea that you could do the shave against the wall and the hug. And these movements show up a lot in our Pilates practice all around the room. So they shouldn't be unfamiliar to you if you've done your homework first and practiced in other places around the studio. The other great piece of apparatus that I love to teach rowing to students if they're new to it is on the armchair. It's a very stable place. Um, the legs can be a little bit lower than the body, so there's not this fight of trying to sit up tall because our legs are extended out. So that can be taught rowing on the armchair. All right, let's take a look at the rowing series and we'll talk afterwards. Begin in a very tall back. Reach forward and up on a diagonal. As you press the arms out to the sides, you're lifting taller. With each repetition, you're trying to maintain that lifted back. Take a moment at the top of the stretch of the strap to really feel that you are truly lifted out from your hips. Moving on into rowing from the hips or rowing four, the hands come along the carriage past the ankles as you lift up into the tall back, back into that round back, reaching forward beyond the ankles Lift the ribs up into your body to help support the lift. Moving on to rowing five or the shave, you're gonna cross your ankles, pull them in tightly, press your knees down and out to help you lift out of your hips. With the arms, the elbows remain wide and lifted to the sides. The power comes from the middle of the back and the ribs underneath you. Change your direction of your legs for the hug or your rowing six. On this one, really find your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And that will help your power through the rowing. Okay, there you go. There was a visual of how to do the rowing three, four, five, and six, or rowing from the chest, the hips, the shave, or the hug. Now, I have a comment about the handle and the importance of learning how to use our handles. The idea here is the handle is like something that you can feel into your hand and it connects down into the back through the body and the tension off of your one spring will be enough to help you to sit up and in a two-way stretch, whether you're in the tall back or the round back through those rowing exercises. The second thing I wanna talk about is the importance of the um, shoulder blocks here. They are there to help you sit up tall and they're a reminder to keep that body feeling very lifted, even in the rounded position. We don't want to flatten, okay? We want to have that idea of feeling lifted out of the hips to create the round in, let's say, the rowing four. 
in the rowing three, we're feeling these guys coming right up against us, getting us to help us sit taller. So working with those two little tips gives that rowing series a try. Again, there are other areas around the studio that you need to practice a bit of the rowing idea before you uh, take flight onto the reformer. If you have any questions about this video, please leave your comments below and I'll, get sh I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you love Pilates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.